Shop every gas station. Yeah, huh. You get like warm pies, uh, pasties, sausage rolls, sausage rolls uh, are good. Hot yeah, dogs. same thing. Mm. Same thing. Same. Uh. Not big whole shop though. Just yeah. Lots but of no, little no shops. No convenience stores. There's like in the city, but in Australia, outside, no, no, no. Really. Mm. Every rest stop at Hugo's is exactly the same. Yeah. It's always like, I always think it's the same one. Yeah, it's like there's always like a random <laughs> shop selling like. 90s music, there's always like a shoe oh, shop, the there's always a, and like all the locations are in exactly the same thing. So you always yeah. like, when I first came, I was always like, I think I've been here before. And then oh, I was like, no, no, they're one. all the same layout. Oh. So in Korea, if you go to a special location, yeah. they have their uh, special foods. Okay. Like in Cheonan, they have Ugu Bajan. Oh, really? Because they're famous for Ugu in Cheonan. Okay. Oh. What are they famous for in this one? Please, I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> De definitely the magic hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. Because like if you have this outside, right, and then inside you can go in and have like a proper sit-down meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can have like donkatsu or ramen or anything like that, which is really cool. Because yeah. like our drive today is gonna be like four and a half hours. It's really hard to stop somewhere and actually yeah. charge the car and find some stuff. So it's really convenient. Toilet all free. Mm. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to Washington to pay. Hey, no. not in Korea. Uh, in Australia? Sometimes, Sometimes you have to have a coin. Really? Yeah. 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 Europe as well. Europe, you have to pay a lot. Nothing. Like when yeah. I lived in the UK and you go to like mainland Europe, you have to pay. There's toilets everywhere in Korea. Yeah. There's no bins, but there's toilets. And they're always so like public toilets for me, like in Australia, yeah. kind of have like this really kind of gross feeling. Dingy smell. Yeah, but here it's just so clean. clean it's it's yeah. so amazing. And it's like, yeah, it's really, yeah. and they're so massive. You never have yeah. to wait. It's like straight in, straight yeah, out. Yeah, even the yeah. toilets are efficient. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like the stereotype in Australia that if you go to a gas station toilet, it's disgusting. <laughs> 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 in Canada? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah like a truck stop, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have like award systems for our toilets, so yeah. that's all not. <laughs> no, we don't have that. No. We need it though, I think. No. Uh, very cool. Good. And have you been to the the Hugo Souls where they have like the they're like on a mountain and they have like a view at the back? Well, I went to that. one last week and like you stop and then the Hugo Souls there, I but it's like the last week Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where did I go? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> great story. Also Cheers for that info. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and it has like a view. really beautiful, and it has like a, a seating on the outside, and you can you sit there. Picture, yeah, uh, there's like a frame. So some of them really go all out. Like, yeah. I feel like even they're in like quite nice areas, like quite naturey areas as well. In Korea, because there's like a lot of mountains everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's like everywhere you go, there's mountains. Mountains. Yeah. yeah. Do we go on long drives in Australia? Every drive is a long <laughs> drive. <laughs> yeah. Just to see a family. Like, my dad lives like six hours away from me. Really? Yeah. Really? Wow. And that's not even halfway to. State to state is like 12 hours each state. But then drive. when you drive, do you stop? You wouldn't stop at a rest stop, right? You'd maybe go to like a town? and have like a coffee no, or something? No, there's like famous rest shops, like yeah. the, the Big Marino, Big Banana, you yeah. stop at a big something. Okay. Yeah. And it's smaller than this. It's like one coffee shop, a McDonald's and then that's it. McDonald's are the big stops in Australia. McDonald's? Yeah. If you say like, if you're doing a big trip, you'd be like, oh, I'm gonna uh, stop at like, this McDonald's. Yeah, it's like famous rest stop McDonald's. <laughs> How was it? Oh, bloody lovely. <laughs> I'm so happy about this, aren't you? That's not a potato. Want another one? No, I want to try the other potato thing. You know what is that in Korean? No. Peony tornado. Tornado potato. I feel like that's a thing in the UK. Maybe. Any any new form of potato, I'm happy with. In Australia, you have this kind of one that's very similar. It's like a hot dog, and then it's dipped in a batter, and then it's corn dog. Corn dog. Corn dog's kind of more processed. Corn, uh, corn dog's the same thing, but different name. Yeah. Mm. Dagobah dog's the same thing. Dagobah dog, and then they dip it in, in tomato sauce. sauce. Yeah. Oh. And like, it's like when you go to a festival. Yeah. That's what this kind of feels like. It kind of feels like yeah, we're at a festival, festival yeah. right? Because yeah. it's like all that festival food. So one thing you've got to have while you're here is mm -hmm. the potu guaja. Let's get a coffee. Walnuts? Yes. Every chugue store, there's like all the same stuff. And one yeah. of the things that I think is one of the coolest things is the wall up bread, this one here, Hotu Gwaja. Hotu Gwaja Hana Joseo. You have to choose a. Hotomasu? Custard, custard, custard. No, I think it's a size. Ah, Kungo. But you see in there, they feel the back. Have you seen it? Mm. You can go around there, it's really cool. It's so cool, right? No? Yeah, I agree. Really <laughs> you can just sit here watching it for hours. I would feel like the donut press that you get in the UK, they're just going through are pretty cool, but these are like... Yeah, let's keep going on. This is... <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Give us... Oh, oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Whoa, that's <laughs> it's a hot... hot. <laughs> Mm. Mm. These are the best things. <laughs> that is hot. Ah, it's really it's hot. Really good, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. I don't really like bean paste, like the red bean paste, that pot. But that's no. really, that's like my only thing. Like, not normally, no. I'm a bit sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> so I think when you're just getting them straight off the press, mm. that's when you need to get them. Delicious. Mm. Let's get a coffee. <laughs> I'll put it in the mic. I'll order it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you. Uh, oh, you don't want to? Oh. Oh, ah, ah, okay. <laughs> come, on, come on, man. Come on, throw it in there. Ah, I'll do a da. There, that's you. Da. Ah, ah, da, ah, ah, da, ah. Is da uh, an actual thing? It's short for Datatan American. Hot. Oh. 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 Did you, did you order your whole one? Baha. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you speak Korean now. You want another one? I'll grab one. Yeah, all that fresh. Still just as hot. I think it's better. They don't get cold, right? They don't get cold. 
이거 뭐야? 네, 네, 이거 뭐예요? For chestnuts. Oh, oh, you put your chestnuts in here. I <laughs> roast it for you. Oh, these are. Ah, oh, it comes out this side here. That's cool. Nice. Nice. Yeah, when I first came to Korea. Um, driving on the right side. I think like for like the first day, it's a bit strange, um, especially going on the roundabouts. Mm. Like the roundabout, you have to really, because once you're driving, it's fine. But like when you go to a roundabout or a turn off thing, it's sometimes a bit confusing. I'm still yet to go round a roundabout. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. I just want to see how that is. At some point, I'll be on the roads in Korea. <laughs> so do you do your license here in Korea? It's really no, easy. No, I will, 100%. Yeah. Well, you say that, but then when I first moved to Korea, you were like, that was so difficult, it was impossible. And yeah. then as soon as you started being like, oh, something, you should get your license. You're like, it's so easy. It is <laughs> easy. It is really easy. Like, in Korea, like, you can, to get your license, it's like you do one written test. Yeah. And then it's like this call, it's like the Ginning test where you have to go in a car park. Like, in Australia, when you do your driver's license, you always drive with someone. Yeah. But here, you, it's just a machine, mm -hmm. kind of like this tablet. Yeah. And then it makes like, it go, dang, you the last five points. It's like, oh God, that's like, so stressful. <laughs> like, oh. You have English version though. Yeah, that in, but the but English is really weird. But did you say English was really weird translation? It's really weird. So yeah. I, I did it in Korean, because like, at least like the commands are like, more, 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 haseo. And then it's like, oh, okay, on the haseo. Because then it was like, if you don't go at the right time, it's like, you went too early. And it's like, uh... it's really annoying. You do this whole test, but it's like a game. Yeah. And it's like, you've got to finish it within 15 minutes. You've got to do all these little checkpoints. And then. Is it doing stuff like parking? Yeah. As well, parking, in it, yeah. lights. And, but then there'll also be like emergencies where you'll be inside the car and then all the lights will flash. <laughs> <laughs> And like, burr, and, you have, burr, and, you have, burr, and you have to stop and put the hazard lights on. Um, oh, you'd get scared for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's just the, um, and then like on the road as well, there's uh -huh. like sensors. So if you go, like if you touch any of the lines, yeah. it automatically knows that you've like lost points. Huh. That took me five times. Yeah. You know how you were just saying it, it was so easy. <laughs> no, it's really difficult. Cause it's like, it's not like normal driving. So I like, had my license for a long time and then it expired, mm. so I had to get it again. Yeah, it was very difficult. <laughs> Is there a lot of like mountains in Australia when you drive? Yeah, especially, I'm from Tasmania at the bottom. There's like, it's very hilly and the roads aren't as good as Korea. Korea's like roads are really cool. Like they're really smooth and flat mm. and new. In Australia, there's like lots of holes in them. There's like really big inclines and then the roads aren't very good. So like, it's really dangerous, but Korea's really good. I find driving in Korea is like not bad because there's nice views. Yeah. yeah. Canada is just like flat. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. No mountains. I mean, really? so a picture Only of Canada in the was mountainous. West Coast, like near Vancouver. Yeah. There's a lot, but in the east, there's like no mountains. One of the other things as well I like is when I would drive in Korea, it would be flashing red. Uh, I'd be like, oh, yeah. or like, it's like, oh, it's, t it's telling me there's a speed camera. And I'd be like, oh, I didn't realize because in Australia, they don't mark them. So. For us, they have a lot of cops with the sweet guns. Same in like Australia. Australia. Yeah, They're same waiting uh, for you to go by and then yeah. they just follow you. Same Australia, where like they'll just be like around the corner and then they'll yeah. speak on. England, it's, I mean, it totally depends where you are. Sometimes it's stunning. Sometimes it is just a boring road full of fields, like yeah. same as Canada. But you know, if you go up to Scotland, you've got beautiful mountainous like this. I think Korea is more consistently beautiful yeah. on the highways. What I like about Korea is like when you drive, it's always like reflective of the season. Yeah. Like, like when I lived in, um, or even in Australia, it's always the same. Like you drive, like no, the leaves don't fall. So yeah. um, like, and the leaves don't change colors. So really? no, so like we'll be driving down the road. It's like, it looks like it might be a rainy day or it might be a sunny day. That's the only change. Huh. But here it's like, you can see now at the dumpung and then like in like a, a month or so, it'll be completely leafless. Um, huh. and quite grey. Yeah. It's quite nice. And then you see the first of the shoots come back up and yeah. it's really nice. You'd be on the same road, but it feels very different. They're, they're mostly deciduous here in Korea, right? And yeah. It's like, well, it's like eucalyptus, pine, all those things uh -huh. are mainly what grows in Australia. So, yeah. yeah it's Not a, enough to make a landscape yeah, like this. Yeah. But yeah, I think if you come to Korea, like Print did when, in winter, it, it's quite stark. 
kind of reminds you of like it's like just grey and like there's no leaves. And, yeah. And then it becomes super green. Oh, isn't Korea nice? Yes. When there's like one turn off, you only ever have like one way to go. But in Korea, there'll be a turn and then one will go this way and then one will go that way. And then it's like color coded, right? It'll be like blue, oh. like green and green pink. pink. Yeah, green huh. and pink. So I really like it. And I love it how on the Navi as well. I don't know. But it does the color. It does the color, but it also has like the photo. Like uh, it doesn't have the photo. So you go, oh yeah. But then it actually has the photo and it tells you where to go, which is really cool. Pretty Very nifty. helpful as well. This is classic uniform right here. Yeah, it's just the clay. You need the clay. Yeah, yeah, oh, I need the little. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, over there. Oh. <laughs> well, when you go on the sauna, I'm then... such lazy. You see the head? <laughs> <laughs> you see the head of one of you? The head of one of you. The shake and you're like. It's pretty popular, huh? Yeah, very popular. The guy was saying like that these are, oh. they use them for every day. And then as soon as they're out, they can jump in and go inside. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Like cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe there's a cheesecake. cheesecake. <laughs> maybe they also do cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got it. Wow. Oh. Wow, they're breaking up. Super Shinko, do the. Yeah, comes on. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> 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 How long does it take? What a cool first sauna experience. So no? cool. Our charcoal supplier in the UK wouldn't even let us like see the process. They were like, oh, it's such a secret. Like it's that like, we don't want you. You can come and visit like where we do it, but we don't want you to actually actively see anything. Whereas this is just like, here you go. Hey, this is exactly how we do it. Let me explain like this fire. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that sauna, yeah. that oh, that little Jinjubang room. It was like, it was like a cave inside, mm. right? It was like inside you could see like all the where they'd yeah. cooked it. It was like, Britain, you've been to the saunas in Seoul, right? And they always have it on the inside. And now I wonder well, where they get that idea from. Well, they get it from that one there, right? So you go inside and it's all like molded and. Well, this is OG sauna. Yeah, no, no. This is it. We're just so efficient, man. Yeah. Nothing, just. This is the most electricity that goes into this. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be pretty good at stacking it, right? You wouldn't want to be the donkey who like, <laughs> <laughs> didn't stack it nicely. Really cool. Also, they're saying there's fans on top as well. They like have to control the heat. Yeah. And what are these things just to hold the roof up? Because it gets so hot. Yeah. yeah. I don't want it to collapse. Yeah. 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 So cool. You can tell it's not his first time. Yeah, this is kind of the the Muda fan I love those How Is It Made programs, which is like a live version. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm not that keen to go in the super hot one, I'll no, be honest. Well, we'll go, 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 go to the hot one. We'll go to the hot one now. I'll go for a bit, actually. Fuck it. I'll oh, well, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't get me. Sorry? Can't get me in there. Should we get a shike? Dare I poke my head in? Oh. I see, sir. I'm going to go on shifts. I think it's pretty packed. I'm probably going to go in and out. <laughs> I think it's pretty packed. Is there anyone in space? There's space. I'll get down to you. I'll get down to you. I smell burning hair. Yeah, I think I might have to leave. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 I can smell burning hair in there, Bryn. It's there's hair. You can. It's so hot. It was just just stupidly hot. Um, you can even smell like burning hair in there. Um, my my piercing is like setting my nose on fire. <laughs> It's intense. <laughs> Funny thing is that no one was talking. No. Like, it was like serious heat. <laughs> and like every like every, any metal you're wearing just gets so hot that it burns your skin. <laughs> I go, I go, I go. Oh, dude, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need them, Actually, not too bad. But my necklace is burning my neck. Oh, one bucket. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad. Oh, I need to. I need to put the uniform on. <laughs> oh. yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, it's not my chuckle. <laughs> Yes. Hey, 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 do you think I can? Yeah, of course. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Just give him all the cards. <laughs> Done. Uh, yeah. Nice one. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. sweet. That's nice. Just for the sort of Yeah. <laughs> this one does more like barley, right? Yeah. Like, I think it's kind of like noodles. It's kind of like, uh, a, like a toasted, this one. It has a bit more darker flavor. Yeah. Like nutty. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's not too sweet. It's not nice. too sweet at all. It's a good classic one. Oh. Mm. Do you reckon they make it or they buy it? Mm. Make it. Make it. Make it, surely. Really? Yeah. It a bit more. And the, the rice in this one isn't chewy, it like disintegrates. Mm. That's really nice. That's so good. Oh. It's so refreshing as well after that hot sauna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need another one before you drink it. No, I mean, then the rice just disappears. Yeah. So, this is your first experience, Summer? This is my first sauna. First sauna experience? First sauna. Oh, so exciting. Exciting. I, I don't think I'll ever top this oh. one. <laughs> oh, for me, I always go to the 24 hour saunas because it's cheaper than a hotel. Uh, so you just spend the night in the sauna, there. Like, you sleep there. Mm. Have, like, some of the you know what you need? You need the cold pool. Yeah, yeah. the cold pool. Oh, I love that. I love just like mm. going down, and there's always like a convenience store. So Stand like, yeah. yeah. That's like, that's money. Almost, what's the, what is a smoked egg called? The boiled smoked egg? That's, mm. that's. <laughs> Put the salt packet on there. Yeah, good to have a nap. These places. But they have their own pillows here that are made from like wood and stuff. Some of them. Really? It's like this big. Isn't it? If you go in at like ten thirty, it's just like a hundred old people. Like wow. <laughs> it's good though. It's all it. like families and stuff. Uh, oh, what? You can drink the water? Uh, <laughs> that's mountain water. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mushroom Could be. I think it's. Get the towel wet. Oh, she just drank some. Yeah, oh, you, you gotta taste. You gotta taste. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> you don't have these in the UK, right? You don't have any saunas or anything like I that. I don't think health and safety restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, one of these. No, definitely. Not. Australia as well. We, we don't so have expensive. That, yeah, so have expensive. Them, but it's like kind of like really bougie, right? It's like mm. a beauty spa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like a day spa. And yeah. There's no. Yeah, you'd have a swimming pool. Or, you'd have yeah, a sauna yeah. or a steam room or a gym would have a sauna. Like yeah. it's not like you just pop down to the sauna. I think sauna is more of like a lifestyle thing. Yeah, yeah like a family oriented mm. thing. So. It's not like one age. Yeah. Well. Like there's like young kids, you see young kids, or you see like really, really old people. people. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's a family thing. Yeah, it's mm. very cool. Shall we get some food? There's yeah, I think so. The barbecue restaurant he has and everything there, so mm. let's have some food here. Cook yeah. by that charcoal. Yeah. And then get back to salt. Yeah. Some, some gobs up. Why are you talking like that, <laughs> <laughs> 
네, 오인분. 오인분. 오인분하고 마크니 저거 있죠? 네, 무슨 마크니? 네, 마크니 한 병. 물수나 갖다 드릴게. 네. 도가니탕. 도가니탕. 텐든. 어. 어, 그래. 예, 도가니탕. I've never had it. 텐든 수? 예. You know, 곰탕. 예, 예, 예. That's really cool. No, it's really good. It's like jellyish texture. Sammy, you're the youngest, buddy. Yeah. All right, bring I'm youngest. Oh, yeah, bring it. Oh, okay, yes, that was yesterday, yeah. Actually, it is one. What, what month are you? June. July. Ah, uh, two months. Three, baby. What are you? No, five. Yeah, end of May, though. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, There's the charcoal, yeah. Oh, where do they get the charcoal from? <laughs> <laughs> Straight from the kiln. Oh. Yeah. The big... Kama? The... Kama, oh, Kama sauce. Ah. Oh. Wow, that looks oh, so cool. Do you want to try the intestine? Yeah, you want to. Oh, I love it. Is it spicy? Oh, it's really nice. Mm. Very sour. Mm. So sour. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. That's my jam. It's like mukunji, right? It's like... You're answering about the map later, right? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> mukunji and dongchimi had a baby. <laughs> Next to a charcoal field. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. Do you want to put the charcoal in there? Maybe. Maybe that's why it's so clean. Yeah, no clean yeah. mm. We're looking for a kimchi serving. It's mm. still the recipe. That's amazing. Oh, Dang Sang. She is. Whoa. Wow. Who wants my food? Yeah, what flavour is that? It's the same one for you. It's just a local. It's a little, little bit of charcoal in it. Chili sauce. Oh, I think it's one of the meal boards. Chili sauce. Chili sauce. Yeah, chili sauce. Oh, it's so good. Oh, this is the good one. Come on. Oh. Is that a good one? I'm sorry. Let's put your thumb in there. Hey, hey, hey. Run it up a bit. I don't want the last part. ちゅうさんもいやねそれ、ご飯そうカモンそうちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんちゃんち
Oh, medium rare, I'm like, perfect, pretty good, I'm like, no, and then I'll press the meat down yeah. until it's all. But then they'll be like, you get? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want you get? Well, especially lamb, like lamb, like, like I like quite a lamb, that, like medium, but they're like, no. Yeah. Or duck, when I like duck skewers. Duck skewers, yeah. Yeah, it's like medium's really nice. Ram, medium, that's it, like lamb and stuff. Has to be. I should have more lamb in Korea. I'm not eating lamb in Korea. It's all Australian lamb anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, do you taste the charcoal? What's on this? The tender? No. Wow. Take something like the cold sardine, and then you put that with the pork. Oh, oh, honey, honey. Mm. Mm. I thought you said that. Oh, intestine. Mm. Oh. Mm. The the one that looks like honeycomb. Is that the one you're talking about? Huh? No, it's the like tendon. Oh, like, like, tendon. Uh, you know, in the knee. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like intestine. Too. Yeah, like try. Like Have you been to the place near the Yorkshire? It's been there for like six years. You've been. Oh, like the old spot oh, around the barbecue street. street. It's yeah. Amazing. Barbecue street. Yeah. 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 Amazing. It's so like you have to walk up the big hill. Mm. I, so took, I took summer. It was okay. really, really good. Not yesterday, but before. Mm. Gopchang is all about the seasoning that they use. Mm. Everyone has their own special mix, and this place is just. Everything. took us there and was like, oh, I can't find the place I always go to, but we'll go here. This place looks great. We went in. We were standing there for 20 minutes. It's like, no! This, this is, is it. The place. I've, been, I've, been, I've just been too drunk. I've been four <laughs> times, but every time I'd gone, I sat in a different spot and I was drunk. So when I actually went there and I was sober, I was like, hold oh, on a minute. Oh, <laughs> like, like, so, yeah. And the other thing was, I didn't walk up the big hill to get there. I walked downhill, so I wasn't. Three, I was out of my element, right? <laughs> wow. That's what I'm going to miss about in Australia. Yeah. Intestines in Australia are just... You can't eat them, right? Nah, it's, but it's like, legally, you can't eat them. You can get them, but they're not processed the same either. Yeah, they're all dirty and yeah. smelly. Uh, like not here, not. like when I first had intestine, I thought it was going to be super smelly, like got junk. No. But it's so, oh. so clean. It's just delicious. It's just like, it's just like cheap. And such an amazing texture, yeah. You can get cleaner than a lot because it's yeah. very popular. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, when you get closer to the market, though, they don't clean. I don't know that they don't clean it, but the fresher it is, the more it stinks. Yeah. It, but it's yeah, like good. Yeah, that's stuff. Is that, the, is that the OG stuff, oh. is it? When you go to like the, what's that big market called? Yongdong Shijang. Yongdong If you go yeah. outside of Yongdong, there's all the little, I wouldn't say, they're all like really small restaurants that look a bit dodgy, but they're really good. And one lady there does a gopchang on the big pan, but the fresh food is the more pungent it is. This, oh. this is seriously just, oh. <laughs> but you know it's true, like when they're using their charcoal, it doesn't like, like flame up. Oh. Yeah. You're saying that's what makes their charcoal special, is that like it can burn and then the fat doesn't flare up. Oh really? And make the meat ah. taste like burnt, like oil. It's really cool. Mm. How's that? Like what else do you need in life? Kimchi, mm. pork, mm. makgeolli, cooked over a nice bit of charcoal. It tastes charcoal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, actually. Oh, really? really? Oh. I don't know if it's just because it's like mixed with my nose from the... <laughs> Everything yeah, it smells like smoke, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. How many mm. taste charcoal? I don't know why. Like, every time I leave Seoul, when I go to one of these places. Oh. Food is always just so, so much better. So bad. In Seoul, like, you cook over the charcoal, you can taste the charcoal, charcoal flavor. Yeah. And I, was, like, I always thought it was good, but then, like, you have here and it's so subtle that it's yeah. like, oh, okay, it's like yeah. a nice charcoal that is really But there is only a picture of the charcoal. When the fat lands on the charcoal. Yeah. That's true, though, it hasn't, it hasn't flamed up once, right? Because it, it's got a higher burning point. Yeah. So it burns lower but longer. Okay. That's why we use the applewood because applewood jacks the heat yeah. and gives it like nice smoke flavour. 
So it's like you control your heat using the wood. Is it worth leaving Solve to come here basically? Leaving Solve is an entire experience. Oh. Including eating the food in the Like it just adds on top of a great day. Yeah. Well, I feel like you've got to stay the night here. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I think sleep the night in this one. I don't know if you're allowed to do it. I think it's cool though, you can come, you can see the charcoal, you can do the digital bum, and then oh. you can go eat at a restaurant that uses that charcoal. charcoal yeah. You just need to meet the pigs that I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll never get to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> it's good ready. I'm going for it. Sorry. No, you get done, buddy. That's. Oh. 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 Having that kimchi just to clear away the fat. But, mm. but I like it because it has more like that. It has a little bit more shit gum. It's like mm. and a bit more than the meat. It's less fat and you get a little bit more of that texture. What about you? What do you like best? Samgyeopsa or moksa? Moksa. I'm a moksa guy. Uh, it's more what even than fat. Yeah. What about you, Samma? Moksa? Samgyeopsa. Yoshi. Hamuksa. So we're here at Mangwon Sijang. Oh my god, this is crazy. Wow. Have you ever been here before? No, I have not. Oh I've been to a lot of markets in Korea. Yeah. I've never been here. No, but this one is insane. I don't know why I haven't been here. I, honestly, I think this market is where it's at because yeah. they have a lot, like immediately right now, like yeah. we can't see any foreigners. Yes. Sometimes I don't like to go to other markets because it, yeah. sometimes it's a little bit touristy. Yeah. But this one you can see, it's just... The, yeah. There's so many different things here and yeah. it's just, just completely low. And I also think people need to get into the habit of going to a market without plans or yes. expectations. You know yeah. what I mean? I think a lot of people go to Hwanjang Sijang and they go to like the one that showed up on Netflix and yeah. they have like places they want to hit. But and the beauty of going to a market is just walking through and seeing what you exactly. like and you know what I mean? No, yes. definitely. And I think those places as well, they're just so, like you said, you don't want to plan it. Let's, let's right. see where let's this road takes us. And see where it takes us. Starving. And this road is going to take us very far apparently yeah, because I, I literally, <laughs> I mean, cool. should we start off easy with some bubble and chigi? I yeah, think we just yeah, gotta start. I think we should just start. Get in here. The tteokbokki 1인분이랑요. The kimbari 2개 주시고 순대 1인분 떡볶이 1인분. 네. 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 오. You like the you like the nature in there as well? Yeah, we got to show everything. Uh, okay, let's do it. Yeah, don't get some broth. Yeah. Let's get some of this bad boy in there. I just love broth. People ask me why I love Korean food so much, and it's because almost always there's a broth component yes. somewhere. A, but like eating, oh, cheers. Ooh. Oh my God. So like, so simple, but. Yeah. And it's just like, it's a beautiful fall day. Yeah. The leaves are falling, the wind is blowing, and you have some broth, like literally yeah, nothing beats just, that. Yeah, it warms the soul. Exactly. Ah, that is some lovely. It's pretty much just anchovy broth, right? When is the first time that you tried someday? When I first came to Korea in 2017. Yeah. What I was spent... the best bit about it? What was the best Sunday? thing? Yeah. When yeah. you describe Sunday, it's like blood, sausage, yeah, like... coagulated sausage, something. And like that doesn't give it justice yes. to how just delicious it is. Yes. Like. Because it's not that strong, right? Like people think it's exactly. black sausage and they're like, no thanks. Yeah. But even like haggis, I would say the Scottish version. I didn't live in the UK, but I think that's really strong. But then I think here it's very like, even if you you think like the blood is quite offensive, I think you could eat Sunday. 100%. And then be really converted. Oh. <laughs> And she gave us the salt on the side. Yeah, man. The salt is the best. The, dip. the salt is the best part. Yeah. If you're not having your meat with salt, like what are you yeah. doing? Sunday done. Mm. 
texture it's, that's right. It's like meaty noodles is honestly yeah. the best way to describe yeah. it. I don't know why people find it so hard to get down. Yeah. Yeah, it's just very savory, right? Mm. I think so. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That and with really the good. salt, it just brings out all the meaty flavor. Yeah. And then when you order this as well, you get like, is this tongue? Or is this, what is this part? You're the chef here. So that's a bit more stronger. Yeah. But also she asked us, right? She was yeah. like, do you want just- Do you want the nejong? The nejong with it, right? Awful products, that's probably something you don't want to have. Yeah. But I think the sundae, jokbal. Oh, oh dakhanjang. Oh, dakhanjang. Oh my God. That's I think cool. we have to, right? Yeah, here will be good. Look yeah. at the selection. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. There's so many different flavors. I've never been to a place where you can just pick out the individual one. Mm. I always just oh, order it. we can it. mix this all together? Yeah, I think you can just order like a cup of that and you mix it together. Oh my god, incredible. There's so many varieties, look. There's one, two, three. I'm going, I'm going to say ten. ten. Peanut butter? Peanut so, butter? Yeah, annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, but you're not eating it. How do you want to eat it? 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 Yes. Yes, I like it. Yes. 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 Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, this one's the peanut butter, right? Bangkong You Have you ever tried this one? No, no have you? No, I just, I've, I've, I've never even seen it before. Yeah, it's kind of like the bloody Harry Potter, all the flavors. <laughs> the <jelly bean laughs> all, the, all the flavors of chicken yes. at this place. It's not too sweet. No. I was really nervous it was going to be That's like... Nice. Poignantly sweet. Mm. Chicken with like a hint of peanut butter? Yeah, it's nice. It's like satay chicken, right? Uh -huh. It's like satay. Mm -hmm. Can you have that like... I thought it was going to be like one of those like... You know how you eat in Korea, you get those crazy pizzas? But they have like the yeah. blue sauce and... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and you're like, like literally, oh, what is this? Yeah. Well, you go in like with that and I think... That's tasty. What's the... Gum the spicy one? Yeah. yeah. What is gum, it called? Gumba? Gampung. Gampung. Where you like, gampung? When you go to a Chinese place here, there's gampungi. Like gampungi gampung shrimp or chicken. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can you teach me? Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Comes the fire at the end. Cool. Cool Not too bad though. I also kind of like it's not hot, right? So it's served like a not little hot? bit. No, like oh, no, yeah, not temperature, temperature hot. hot yeah. <laughs> it has that like it shouldn't be nice because like you want it, you think oh it needs to be that yeah, bust up. Yeah, like, but, like yeah. It's, then it's like softer on the outside. It's actually quite nice. Yeah. It's actually quite I'm nice. I'm into it. Delicious. That's why that spice keeps going though. You think the train is stopped? Okay? I'm okay. We should find some shikai. I'll, like, I'll be like your oh. uh, little jump yeah, by the end of this. We gotta find some shikai or something yes. refreshing then. Yeah, what, what do they do in this? Let's see what the... Train? They do have makgeolli. Makgeolli, oh. oh, whoa. Where's mine? Why is mine not in here? I know, yeah. where's your... Oh my God. Wow. This is such a good place as well, because normally at Marcus, you don't have, I, I like to be able to get all these Korean alcohols. Yeah. So it's like this Naro Makgeolli is amazing. So many of my friends, they come to Korea and like, oh, where can I buy some stuff? Uh -huh. This one is like one of those days on the last day you could just go around and pick up some stuff as well. Yeah. Get some great food. No, like, these Kejang are- Kejang Makgeolli is amazing. Like, like Pokchun Dunga is, yeah. uh, Pokchun Doga is the Ulsan Kedebidogin ke Makgeolli in there. Yeah. This is so- Yeah, it's I think like I'm champagne, gonna get this right? It's like champagne yeah, yeah, yeah. So It takes you about 20 minutes to open because it's just so- Literally, like, and then you have to do it like as slowly as humanly possible. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's get some food while we're here. When it comes to alcohol, we need some anju, right? Yeah, gochu twigum is a signature in that big board yeah, there. Yeah, let's so get let's it. rock on with that. Key point with this one is you need to just get all that sediment off the top. Okay, you know how to open a thing of makgeolli, right? Yeah. Well, this is a takju, actually. A takju, yeah? Gochanaseyo, gochanaseyo. Yeah, I guess it's a yeah. Mm. Uh, it's a 50% angle. 
That's the the ticket. That's what happens when you go to eat with a Michelin star chef. Jeff, by you red, by red, 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 drinking muckily and... Oh yeah. Hey, oh, where we go? What's that, Anju? But in the meantime... Tukju is kind of like muckily, but a little bit lighter. So at the top, think about rice. Oh, that's, while this is doing this, think about rice wine. It's made from rice, rice. and water and nurek. Incredible. Mixed together, it's cloudy. But if you let it sit for a while, mm. The top bit will be clear. That is called Chongju. Mm. If you take that out and mix it with cream medicines, it becomes Yakju. Mm. If you go down slightly further and you take a little bit of the rice sediment and the top bit, that is called Takju. Oh. If you go right down to the bottom, that is called Makkuri. So back in the day, Makkuri was actually all the all the nobles would only drink the top bit mm. and the makkali would be for kind of all the poorer people. Ah. And they would actually make a second ferment. So they'd take the makkali or the jigemi and they would mix water and they would do a secondary fermentation. So Takju is like the premium version. Yeah, um, premium, premium. I think it's all delicious. It right? is all this delicious. This is supposed to be for the poor people, but honestly, I think it's, I think it's for kings. Wow. So, oh, how is this one pepper? Look at that. No, there's... No, no, but like that is a, that is mental. A monster pepper. That is mental. Holy crap. Okay. I think this is more fizzy than bok, bok and doga. This is going it probably is. It's going to take forever. Mental. Cheers. This is insane. Wow. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. That's nice. And it's not too spicy at all. No. The tteokbokki was spicier than this and it's a yeah. whole ass pepper. This is nice. Well, it's like, so it's like a fried pepper that's mm. been filled with meat. Slightly sweet soy, onion, chili, sesame seed mm. sauce. That's really good. I'm into it. It's not too greasy, it's not too spicy. What's really cool about this one as well is that you can walk, see the market, eat. Listen yeah. to K-pop. <laughs> oh, come on, 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 come Ah, that's good. Oh my god, this is so good. What's it made from? Chop side, nip side, what's that? And it's only 6%, so you can like, Really get into it and enjoy it. Yeah. Is makkali caloric? As in, what, what do you mean? Like, does it have a lot of calories? Like, yeah. if I was trying to maintain my diet up until today, like, how am I doing right now? Not great. Great. Not great. Great. I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be uh, using that as like a low. I think it's better than beer, but not great. Whatever. Everyone needs a cheat day. You know yeah. what I mean? Cheers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We can cheers. Yeah. Sort of the pepper. You gotta, the Andrew, you got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm quite interested in Korean alcohol. Mm. That I think really needs the only like it's such a beautiful product. Mm. The only thing that I want is that it gets some better packaging. And but I think this is better. Mm. This is so tasty, mm. so delicious. I agree. So we just need to find a way that we can. And I love how many different types of alcohol you can enjoy in Korea. Yeah. Like you could be a makgeolli person, a beer person, a soju person. You could be a soju and beer person. You could be a bopunja. You know what I had the other day? What? Had, people don't know bopunja is like the is like a native berry made into an alcohol. Uh -huh. You take. Two parts makkali and one part bokunja, and it is the. That sounds delicious. It is honestly the best way to get have a good night. Mm. Joseph, we got about. We just drank two thirds of this bottle. Don't make me we're out. Don't insane make, right now. Don't make me out to be the alcoholic in this story. That is <laughs> fair, but as the alcoholic, I'm gonna say let's save this because yeah. I feel like something's gonna come up that we're gonna want to drink this with. Yeah. So let's save a little bit for that. Okay. Perfect. Maybe your friends come to Korea. What do they think when they try makgeolli? When my friends have come and tried makgeolli, I think they're just confused more than anything else. They're like, yes, yes. why is there this white milky liquid? Exactly. And it's apparently it's alcohol. Like I think people are just confused by what yes. they're seeing. Yeah. And then, and when you have it in a restaurant, right? They give it to you in like the cup, yeah. in like a what oh. kind of looks like a cat dish, but like yeah. a more beautiful version, of yes. course. So my friends are just overall very confused, but then they try it and they're like, "Oh my god! Like yeah. this is like heaven you on earth." You see the first sip and they're just still trying to work it figure out, figure it out. Yeah. And then like three bottles later, where do you have yourself a good night? Yeah. Tuk 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 tuk. Ah sure. Another part of Shijang's that I absolutely love is how practical they are. Like, I come to a market, I want some tteokbokki, and I also want some Crocs. Or I want some I shoes. Think you're the only person. No, but I'm the just saying, like, listen, that. if you want, like, house slippers, if you want those essentials and you don't want to pay a lot of money for it, just come to a market. Like, yeah, don't go to enough. Zara or. Oh, what is this? Ooh. I've never seen this before. It's a little hot pepper crisp. Yeah, it's a little 
Bulgur on here. I need that. Mmm! Like fried seaweeds? It's good that I have a little bit of that. Yeah. Hello, there are a lot of things in there. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Wow. Bulgur. This is some of my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, this is El Classic. Mmm! They don't have like a, a crazy strong flavor. Mm. Then you're just kind of eating them and eating them, and then you realize yeah. they're all gone. They're all gone, and you've like gained a thousand pounds. Yeah. <laughs> but then we have like more, say, traditional vegetables here, right. which is kind of like what I would go for a market to see. Right. Like being a chef, I want to go and see the change of seasons. Exactly. See what vegetables are out. You can see now. everything here, and it's like, oh, yeah. That's such a good point. Like, I've only ever come to markets to just do the street food thing. Yeah. Because I don't cook that much, and it's like, yeah. I don't need that many. That's the type of life I want to live here. Yeah, well, like he, sometimes when I go to my lady, next, sometimes I forget my card, and she, sometimes I forget my card, and she just lets me pay. Exactly. The next day. That's kind of such an old way of. Sorry, not to interrupt you. Wait, we can't have. We can't just There's keep eating donut. fried There's stuff. Don't, yeah, we, we can. Keep eating fried stuff. No, can we split one fried thing? Okay, let's split let's one guabegi. Guabegi. Oh yeah. Just yes. one guabegi. Oh, I have to have guabegi. But important decision we have to make: Do we want yenar guabegi, which is like the OG? Always legit. Yeah. Always go legit. Or, My rule of thumb is always. Okay, legit. but that topsar guabegi looks. Topsar guabegi. Jokun do what? Jondok jondok. Mother, Coco Tayko. How is she coming? Okay. Oh my god, it looks so good. This looks really famous, this place. I know. I, I think I've been in the area before, but saw a huge line, and I was yeah. just like. This is really cool, though. Yeah. So, we're going to go. And yeah, there are two people who are going to go. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Oh my god, these are so fresh. Warm. Warm. Oh my god, I'm so into it. Mm. Pretty good. It's like cheap as well. I know, two for 80 cents. It's like a cinnamon donut without the cinnamon. Mm. And it's still not too sweet. No. It's just pillowy and. Yeah, you can tell like. Like one of these really busy places because they're just making so mm -hmm, many. Mm -hmm. They come out so hot. Let's try the. Uh, I know. So sticky rice. Oh my god. This already looks crispy on the outside, right? This is right? gonna be insane. Mm. Mm. I hope they heard that crunch. Yeah. Because holy shit. I think the lady down the end heard that crunch. <laughs> this is this is. Mm. Am I right? I think I like this one more. So it's like the you outside. didn't want to get it at first. You were like, oh, the OG is the best. Oh, you like... got to get the OG. There's some weird flavors just to get you in the door. Mm. But like, uh, it's quite, it's a lot more dense. Yeah. The other one's like super, like, it's like a donut, but this one here has got like a bit more chew. No, this is incredible. And everyone would like this. Like, Fish. I can't imagine a single person not liking this. Fish and a coffee. I want a coffee. Who's got to take out coffee? All uh, right. Oh. Get some of these in the morning, take home. I know. In the morning, a little... With, an, with a cappuccino. Oh. Oh. Dip okay. it in. Literally. I'm finishing mine. You are? I'm mm. just now starting to think about my diet and how screwed I am. Mm -mm -mm. Can't have a diet on a day like this. You, you can't. What's today? Monday? Yeah. Well, it's like a little fun day. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I really feel like for people visiting Korea, like, you just gotta spend so much time in a market, in yeah. a sijang, because you can learn. So I've just in the past 25 minutes, the amount of things that we've covered. Yeah, and then I, I've been here five years, and even just today, because I've never been to this market. Yeah. Just being able to see, like, oh, that, what was it, guabegi? I've yep. never eaten yep. guabegi before. Have you really no, not? I'm like, I just need to get out more, I think. Oh my God. Like, I've been living under a rock. But that's honestly crazy. Like, you've lived in Korea for five years. Yeah. I've been back and forth, but like, I study Korean. So the fact that we've had Honestly, like such different experiences, yeah. but yet like very thorough, authentic experiences. Yeah, no, I think that, like you said, authentic is the key word there. Yeah. This is just such a, a lively, bustling local market that really showcases Korea, but not just one aspect, like the raw vegetables, the, the, yep. the vendors, the, yep. the shopkeepers, and it's such a nice way to get like a really good dose of Korea yeah. in a short little street. It's also a reminder to people watching, like learn a little bit of Korean before you come. That honestly, like, <laughs> it gets you like a little chance there. You yeah. literally just said like, <laughs> <"Anyeo seo." laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, like I just, I, it's like my top, 
recommendation for people when they say, I'm going to Korea, what should I do? Like the yeah. first thing I say is learn a little bit of Korean. Yeah. Because honestly, like people spend so much time thinking, where do I go and what do I see? And from my perspective, no matter where you go, the yeah. first thing that you could use is a little bit of language acumen yeah. to just open yourself to a different type of experience. 100%, 100%. And then the rest is like history. You could go yeah. anywhere and you're going to have a great time. Yes. All the food's going to be delicious. And they're always like, you just like, yeah, it just they welcome you so much more yes. in if you can like, wow, okay, he's trying. 100%. Yeah. Especially because nowadays there's a lot of foreigners in Korea. Yeah, it's really opened back up. Like it's opened up and the numbers are only going up. So yeah. if you could be that person to like smile, show a little kindness to these shopkeepers and speak a little Korean, it'll do you wonders for yeah. sure. Okay, so we have arrived at our destination. Yes. I told you I have a little surprise planned for you. Yeah, this is not what I expected. <laughs> what were you expecting, sir? The unexpected. The unexpected, <laughs> as you should. Joseph, how often do you eat oysters? Oysters are super seasonal, so yeah. I think I don't eat a lot, but now that it's getting cold, I'm probably gonna eat a lot. Actually, I've had one oyster thing here in Korea. Okay. Gur jampong. Have you ever had that? It's like dumpling. I know. There's a lot of different ways to eat gur here yeah, in Korea, yeah, yeah. but we're gonna have gur jeondo ikgo. So I've only ever had two types of oysters in Korea, which is bokkokgul, which is the really big ones, like, and then I've had the normal one. Some tango though. Ah, miyokgu. Ah, miyokgu. I mean, I'm gonna miss it. Who's got? Whose birthday is it? Sengli. Oh, 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 Jeez Louise, this is a massive TV amount. Show. Like, while we were there, this whole tray of... They look like Wait. South Pacific oysters, I would say. But yeah, this one, like, it feels really heavy. Yeah. It's really nice. Let's feel like oh a good God. oyster. What about it? The... It's very heavy. Yeah. So that's a good thing. It's quite deep. Yeah. So you know, like, the, the shell to meat ratio is going to be nice. Yeah. Because sometimes if they're like... We'll see when it opens up how thick the shell is. Mm but it also feels really not brittle. If it's really brittle, it means that the when the oyster is growing, it hasn't mm. had enough nutrients, so the shell is really weak, and that's like a sign of like not a good oyster. Uh -huh. This is like what they call tin -tin. This is really, really hard, Damn. so that's gonna be really delicious. Well, I'm gonna put that in. So that we, I wanna get, she I wanna cooks get, on time. Yes. Yeah. And, and as chefs, we gotta wanna make sure our stuff's cooked on time. So there's that. Also, it looks like we, we oh, are going I can to be teach doing you. this can, ourselves. Yeah. Oh you God. You're good at this, right? This will be a learning experience. What do we got? We got some mm. tofu panzan, we have some chojang sauce, which is my favorite of the Korean bread dipping sauces. Really? Um, gochujang and vinegar, which is yeah. a really good time. It's like it's slightly sweet, right? Yeah. That's that would be delicious. delicious the most chef way of eating a little bit of sauce. Yeah, no, like when you're a chef, you normally like, like put it like that, or you'd be like that. Such a chef thing. You're so cool. Wow, we'll teach you all these tricks. But <laughs> hang out with me more often. You I've got like more it. tricks. So, if we look at the menu, so here we have the gurk dim, and I think we ordered chungja, so we ordered yeah. like the middle one. I'm trying to see what else they have. Well, I think we have enough food. Let's get some alcohol. <laughs> oh, alcohol? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Life is better with alcohol, so. Agreed. Yours we we said that we talked about the bopunja, so let's get bopunja. And we have makkali left. What? Say about nebunja. Nebunja. That's what you said. Okay, then, let's try it. Yeah, let's get one bopunja. Sajangdim, bopunja, hana jusu. Nene. Kizamnita. You know, the bopunja is good for, right? Oh, is this like the man thing? It's the man thing. Insurance. It's the man thing. Yeah, this is when all the ajishis are like bopunja. Can you smell this? Smell this. I guess, yeah. Wow. Whoa. Sajangdim. Whoa, whoa, okay, there's so many things happening right now. Oh, whoa, Ooh, 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 Ooh. This looks insane. So Ooh. Look, I've never heard of anything like that before. Yeah. And I love the, just the amount of different seaweeds Korea yeah. has. Like this one is mei sengi, so it's gonna make it like super slippery, uh -huh. even more than like miyoku. Yeah. Growing up in Australia, mm. looking at something that when it goes like that, yeah, you're like, what uh, is this? But then I know how delicious it is. Right. So it's like, so I'm just gonna start without you. No, yeah, please do. So good. Is it? 
so I shouldn't swear. <laughs> Korean food in general has a lot of interesting textures associated yeah. with it. It's either slippery, super chewy, and so I get a lot of comments from followers being like, oh, I just don't know if I could do it with the texture. Yeah. The taste supersedes the texture, you yeah. know what I mean? Well, I think, like, normally they think because of the texture is weird, the taste is not gonna be there. You should at least just give mm. it a try. But how Whoa. good is it, right? So like, good. And the, it's like, it's like, it's kind of like those horror movies you see where mm. it's like glooping down, but it's like, oh, so good. It's so different from any other duck cook I've had. Yeah. If you like seafood, if you've had an oyster before and you're like, I remember liking it. And if you want to try something really new and novel, come on, like come try new things. Like, yeah. but this is pretty cool as well. Like, if you like oysters, you came here. Like you would never get anything like this in anywhere else. Exactly. So then no can, one else is preparing oysters. Yeah, like and then this, you can yeah. take that recipe back or that way and then like, this is such a good little dinner party. Oysters. Yeah. You can make them in advance. Like I made these before for friends. You Mal. made gurjeon or just jeon? Gurjeon. Really? Gurjeon, yeah. In Gwangju, like they're very famous for chon. So you make God. like a selection of different chons. You're insane. And then it's such a good dinner party snack that you can make it and then just have it out. And then while you're entertaining guests and it's great with alcohol. Speaking, Speaking of about alcohol. Thing, yes. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. This is really good. Oh my days. Oh my days. That's insane. Wait, are we doing the thing with the makgeolli that we you mentioned before? Give, we'll give, a, give this little, let's give this a baby more, some more love. love and, and attention it needs. Okay, alcohol in a second. Sadanim. Hopefully, aftima is there. Dek, kamsanda. Dek, kamsanda. Very well, sir. Anyo, kinyang. Just to prepare in advance. I feel like I'm back at work. <laughs> back in the restaurant. This anyway, cool done. Cool done. Slightly spicy. Texture's amazing. It is predominantly egg, but it's not really eggy. And I was gonna say, like, sometimes you get chan and it can be like, ooh. I go. Sometimes they can dilute the taste of the of the type of chan with the yeah. egg or the flour. Yeah. But this, the oyster flavor is like very prominent. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy. Look at that, look at the steam coming off that. This is actually insane. This is I've crazy. never experienced anything like this before. Oh, you need a glove, sorry. I'm like, the oh, chef. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm a chef, I don't need a glove. My hands have no nerve endings left in them. Oh. Like, oh, so I couldn't wait. Did you really just? Oh. Now, you gotta get that juice as well. See that juice that's forming? It's like a little. Mm. Don't they call it? It's not the brine, the liquor. Mm. Don't they call it the liquor? Mm. The oyster liquor? Yeah. Do you like oysters? I didn't even ask. I do love oysters. Except I historically have only ever had raw oysters. Wow, and it just comes right off. They're so clean too. This is how you, this is how the Ajoshis do it in the, the soul chips with their hands. Mm. And drink over several mm -hmm. hours. And because it's just staying nice and warm, it's still just gonna be like oh. that's a good point. Because these are all really hot. So every every bite, you're just getting these really hot, intense oysters. Right. It's very cool. But I'll shut up and I'll pour the alcohol. So this is my men's endurance. Yeah. Drink that I'm There's doing. It's been a couple notes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Done. 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 It's a good combo, actually. Oh, it's really good. Oh, what are you talking about? This is like. Oh. Whoa! I've never had anything like this before. You never had bullpen job? I don't think so. This is like smooth. <laughs> You would care. Okay, I think what's happening right now is just because it's head oil Like yeah, because it's new, salt. I'm like I'm I'm getting getting adjusted right. to it. Is it plum or no? It's a type of raspberry. Mm. It's a native raspberry. Uh, comes out in summer. Very popular. I'm into it. You like it? This is your really your first time. Oh, I do. I think so. Yeah. No, but I do. This, this has like really good with the oysters. Like this is like I would say the OG Western stamina food, mm. right? To get your libido going. They say oysters, oysters. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, it's, and then you're um, using the Korean aphrodisiac, yeah, aphrodisiac mixed with a bit of stamina food. Yeah. What are we? <laughs> what are we doing after? 
people get a little nervous to eat oysters, mainly because there's so many raw options that if yeah. like, you get a bad one, then you know, like what could happen. But yeah. this, you know, once you steam them and you're cooking them like this, it's the same thing as clams or mussels. You know, you're doing yeah. all the same. As thing. long as you heat it, it's fine. Of course, very nice, really cool. And punch on as well. That people, because they take so many smoke breaks, that people can literally just get up from their tables, leave, go outside and smoke. Yeah. And everyone just trusts that they'll just come back and yeah. finish their meal. That thing could never happen in America. People think you're dining and dashing real quick. I think you're, you're out of here. There's not nearly enough communal trust that you'll come back and finish the meal. <laughs> okay, so it's half makrele, half. There's, there's, there's a lot of controversy over whether it's a half and half or a 230 blend. <gasps> well, it looks beautiful for what it's worth. And this is what we call the pink. It looks like go -go. This is. I'm so into this. This is uh, this is Yannick taught me this. Shout out to Yannick. Shout out to Yannick. <laughs> Thanks, Yannick. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. You just smash that all day. That's way that, more by groove. That was from this, Sean. Whew. Wow, that's beautiful. I'm not over how huge these oysters are, though. Mm. Like, mm. they're so big. They're so clean. What I like about this is like, it's like a tasty menu of oysters, right? Mm -hmm. You have a twist, oysters in a soup, you have it in a chon, you have a steamed. If I was recommending people to come to Korea, mm. I would say go to a place like this. Mm. This is where you're going to get real, authentic Korean food. Like this fine dining is cool, but like I would rather go send people to a place like this. Another reason why I love visiting Korea is because I feel like depending on what season it is in Korea, there's different types of things to do, right? Like if you come in the spring, you do the cherry blossoms. Yeah. Or if you come during the summer, then there's all the sort of like water festivals. Yeah. During the fall, there's, um, what is it, Kimjang? The yeah. like yeah. kimchi making yeah. festival. Do you do that ever? We like to make chang. It's a one year process and it rolls around the season. To make kimchi, it's a one year process. Mm. So in winter, it's the right perfect time because it gets cold that the winter breeze comes over, the cabbage is crisp up, and that's mm. the perfect time to make cabbage, mm. to make the kimchi. Mm -hmm. And at that time, at the end of the night as well, like you make the kimchi all day, and then at the end of the thing, you eat like bolsan, which is like freshly boiled yeah. pork with the kimchi, or even these oysters would be just, yeah, because you, you want to taste the stuff that you've just made, right? Sure, yeah. So you want to check if your batch is okay, so it's very traditional. And I think like eating these oysters uh, would be good, but it's not long now. Should we do it together? Kim Jong? Oh my god, yeah. I'm so down. It is hard work. I've done it in America actually before. You've done it in America? Mm -hmm. They have Kim Jong in America? My friend Peter is Korean American, lives in Chicago, and every Kim Jong day, he gets like 30 friends together and yeah. has a Kim Jong party in his backyard. Ooh, and cheeky. So like everyone comes and he sets up like all these different stations yeah. and everyone comes and he gives them like a little index card that has their instructions on it. So yeah. some people are cutting the cabbage and then yeah. some people are making the dung. 30 to 40 people who know absolutely nothing about kimchi yep. to come together and try kim dung wow. and it's just, it's really cool. Like that's in awesome. the back of his apartment in Chicago. That's like, isn't perfect. That sick? That's awesome. Yeah. That is really cool. The things that I recommend to people is like doing like the, doing the kim jang or trying these foods in context. Mm. Like these foods of like boiling, balsam is really nice, but balsam, after working all day to make kim jang, mm -hmm. and like you, your arms are tired and you just want this hot pork and the kimchi yeah. and you're like, yeah. oh, they have a makgeolli afterwards. Uh. And that makgeolli and that food afterwards, my God, yeah. it is the best food you can eat. Of it is so nice. So trying this, but also trying the food in context. Yeah. Cause it's like, anyway, the drunken ramblings of The drunken ramblings of all, you know. And I think this is some of the best food I like to recommend to people. So mm. food that you can just have in the middle, mm. you can drink with friends, yeah. you can talk about life, and then like halfway through, you can just like stop again and pick up an oyster. 100%. And then just eat that oyster and like, bye. There's well, like a couple of hours of just hanging yeah. out. Where it's like, if you go to a restaurant, then you're like, you, you got the plate, and then like some waiters coming over. Checking on you, your plates, cleaning, top of the you. I don't need someone to pour this alcohol, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's such a nice way to eat, I think. Well, Korea also really, refined the idea of like heating your food as you eat like yeah. whether your food comes in a torso or there's literally a fire in the yeah. middle of the plate yeah. like no one is rushing you yeah and that's why i think like i've come to love alcohol and and eating and drinking at the same time yeah. because in america at least drinking is very much a binge culture in the sense that you it's too expensive to go out and drink with your friends if you go to a bar if you go to a restaurant cocktails are too expensive yeah so what everyone does is they just 
buy vodka at home. Everyone takes like seven shots before they go yeah, out. Then, then you're drunk at the restaurant. You probably aren't feeling great. Like here, it's this sort of like l slow and steady yeah. approach to eating and drinking with friends over a long period of time. Yeah. And I just resonate with that so much more as like a, you know, uh, from a cultural perspective. Yeah, like, definitely. Well, I think that was the word in Korean, judo. The, the double hand, the yeah. going lower, the, the holding someone's glass. Yeah. Growing up in Australia, like, I always say that there's more culture in yogurt to turn around and yeah. that's so cool to come and learn and do and of course. appreciate and I like, that's why I love living in Korea because it's like, I can see why it can be sometimes like kind of dupped up harder. It can be quite mm -hmm. restricting for people, but I really like the fact that you have all these cultural norms yeah. and it's really, it's really cool to learn and be part of. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers to this new combination. Period. Yeah.